Good afternoon everybody, this is Nel Caroca again and today is the first time that I'm going to show my face. Leave a comment if you want to see my face or not. Okay, so let's proceed now to the first topic and it's all about lighting design career. Okay, because one of my friends in LinkedIn asked me how she can improve her lighting design career. Because she's a little bit confused if she wants to pursue with her electrical engineering field or just focus of being a lighting designer. And I told her that being a lighting designer is a very specialized career. So how she can do that is by having these 12 things to do. The first one is a continuous education and skill development. Okay, so continuous education and skill development is about staying updated on the latest lighting design technologies, trends, and design techniques. And how to do that is by attending workshops, conferences, and online courses to expand the knowledge and skills. So that is the first one. It's a continuous education. It's always like that. In any career, you should be in a continuous education and skill development. Otherwise, you will be left behind. Okay, so yeah. Keep education and improving your skills. Go in my online courses. Sometimes it's free. I'm giving it for free. Go to Dialogs YouTube videos. Keep on studying and learning and watching it and um, attend workshops and conferences. Some conferences are free. Go, go and do that. It's always a continuous education and skill development. Okay, the next one is networking. It's very important. Networking in any field or any business, you should have a very good networking. So you need to establish a nurture relationship within the industry including those professionals who are architects, interior designers, manufacturers, and fellow lighting designers or fellow lighting professionals. And you can do that. You can communicate or network with these people by going to the events and joining professional organizations like in CBC or IELD. But if you don't have money, um, it's okay because <laughs> I don't do that also. And engage in online forums to build a strong network. Like in Facebook page, we have Dialogs users in Facebook page. Go and join there. LinkedIn and other blogs or forums where lighting design is always the topic. So go and network yourself. It's always important to be network with other professionals, especially those who are related to lighting designs. Okay, architects, interior designers, landscape designers, manufacturers, salesmen, even salesmen, and of course, other lighting professionals or um, electrical engineers, of course, I forgot. Yes, and of course, the other one is also a pole manufacturer. I remember I got my first big project in golf course lighting because I got involved with Valmont. Um, they are the supplier of French poles so yeah think to those people who are always connected with lighting design and become friends of them okay so the next one is portfolio development so you need to regularly update and enhance your portfolio showcase it to your facebook page or to your linkedin page or if you have your own website show it to them and show it that you have different projects, not only interior design or not only sports lighting or not only retail shops, but a diverse portfolio. So, so that when people saw your portfolio, they will become um, amazed with your designs and they will think that you know everything already. Okay, you need to highlight your ability to address the different design challenges and you need to create an aesthetically pleasing and functional lighting solutions because it's not all about um, showing the dialogues rendering or maybe AGI rendering. You need to show that you know other, uh, other lighting design field, not just interior or specifically exterior 
Okay, so keep on upgrading your portfolio. My uh, one of my project right now is a big sports project in South Africa, and I keep on telling to uh, the sales guy that please let's get the order because this will this project will become the best project in my portfolio in 2023 and it's like an encouragement to the sales guys to get the project because they can feel that it's very important for me as a lighting designer to get this project because it will be part of my portfolio so do that to your work right now also keep collecting amazing project and put it in your profile in your linkedin or in your facebook or instagram okay Next, number four is your communication skills. So communication skills is not just by speaking English. You can say communication skills is more of how you will interpret or explain your designs. So you need to develop an effective communication skills to convey your lighting concepts and ideas to your clients, to architects, or to other teams or interior designers or landscape architects, or to your salesman. You need to explain to your salesman that your design is something like this, blah, 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 so that when your salesman goes to his client, he can convey what you said to him, and it means that your design is really correct and amazing because the way the sales salesman speak to the client will be like what you said to him. So you need to have a very good communication with your salesman so that your design will be conveyed to the client because sometimes we are not in the meeting with the clients it's always the the project manager or the sales guys if you are connected to a uh, lighting manufacturer supplier company but if you are in design consultancy lighting design consultancy sometimes you will be part of um, the client meeting and maybe you can talk uh, as part of the meeting but if not you need to speak to the people who will convey your message to the client and that is sometimes the project manager or your sales guys okay so you need to practice presenting your ideas clearly and professionally both in written and verbal forms because sometimes <clears throat> the client will see some errors in your presentation like typo error or misspelled something and it's not really good sometimes it's a big no-no if the client saw something like wrong grammar or wrong spelling so yeah maybe in how you explain it because english is not your first language it's okay but in your written it should be polished you can use other software to check your spelling and your grammar Okay, next number five is stay informed on sustainability. Like what I did, I took the lead AP exam because I want to make sure that it's not about lighting up the world, but also taking care of the environment. It's the future. It's We are part of the build up of the community and taking care of the planet. And if your design is really not good or you're destroying the plant little by little, later on lighting designers will be sued or cursed by next generation because we did not provide the proper lighting for them okay so stay informed about sustainable lighting practices and incorporate energy efficient solutions in our designs like for example uh, using led instead of halogen lamps or metal halide i'm not against with these lamps because these are the previous lamps but you, if you can find something more efficient then go for it because it's more of uh, sometimes it takes uh, sometimes it really it is very expensive to get all those things but you need to educate the client saying that even though you have a very expensive initial investment Later on, it's good for the company and good for your wallet. Okay, so yeah, go for something more efficient. So demonstrate a commitment to environmentally friendly and energy conscious designs. Always think, what if? Is it okay for the environment, okay for the people, and then okay for your client in terms of budget? All right, so next is collaboration. So. Uh, collaboration means you can increase or improve your lighting design career if you know how to collaborate.